In the small town of Crestwood, a chilling tale unfolded. Leaving its residents gripped in fear and paranoia, it all began with a mysterious curse, spreading like an ominous shadow from one person to another, leaving a trail of terror in its wake. A group of friends, led by the curious and adventurous Emily, stumbled upon the curse unwittingly one fateful night. They attended a seemingly innocent carnival that had come to town. Unbeknownst to them, a malevolent force lurked within the carnival grounds as they enjoyed the attractions. A cryptic figure handed Emily an old, cursed artifact, sealing their fate. The curse, as they soon discovered, was an entity that took various forms relentlessly pursuing the person it had attached itself to. The only way to escape its clutches was to pass it on to someone else through intimate contact. The cursed person, however, would be haunted by the entity until it found a new victim as the group grappled with the horrifying reality of their situation. Emily, racked with guilt, decided to confront the curse head-on. She confided in her friends and, together, they devised a plan to uncover the origins of the curse and find a way to break its malevolent grip. Their investigation led them to an old, abandoned mansion on the outskirts of town, rumored to be the source of the curse. As they delved into the history of the mansion, they unearthed a tragic tale of love, betrayal, and a vengeful spirit seeking retribution. It was revealed that decades ago, a young couple lived in the mansion. The man, consumed by jealousy and suspicion, wrongfully accused his beloved of infidelity and committed a heinous act. The tortured spirit of the woman became the embodiment of the curse haunting anyone who came into possession of the cursed artifact. Determined to break the curse and end the torment, Emily and her friends embarked on a perilous journey to lay the spirit to rest. They faced nightmarish manifestations of the curse along the way, with the entity taking on grotesque and terrifying forms. The friends, bonded by their shared plight, displayed courage in the face of unspeakable horrors. The climax unfolded within the mansion, where the group confronted the vengeful spirit through a series of harrowing encounters and heart-wrenching revelations. They managed to appease the spirit's anguish and lay it to rest. However, as the curse lifted, an unsettling silence fell upon them group. Unknown to them, the curse had one final twist. The entity, though seemingly vanquished, lingered in the shadows, waiting for the perfect moment to strike again. As the group dispersed, haunted by the events they had endured, they couldn't shake the feeling that the unrelenting shadow still lingered, casting a perpetual pall over Crestwood. And so, the town remained on edge, its residents forever glancing over their shoulders, wondering when the malevolent force would return, leaving them to grapple with the horror that was now an indelible part of their collective history. The curse of Crestwood persisted, its legacy woven into the very fabric of the town, a chilling reminder that some nightmares never truly end. Months passed since the group confronted the vengeful spirit in the old mansion. Crestwood, once a quiet and peaceful town, now bore the scars of the supernatural ordeal. The friends struggled to move on, haunted by the memories of the malevolent entity and the unsettling feeling that the curse might not have been completely vanquished. Emily still tormented by guilt over inadvertently bringing the curse to her friends, became increasingly reclusive. The once tight-knit group found themselves drifting apart as the shadows of the past continued 
too. Loom large over their lives, strange occurrences became commonplace in Crestwood. Whispers of ghostly apparitions and eerie sightings circulated among the townsfolk. Nightmares plagued the residents, each dream ting with the indelible mark of the curse. The fear that the entity had merely lain dormant, gnawed at the edges of their consciousness. One evening, as the sun dipped to low the horizon, casting long shadows over the town, a new darkness descended upon Crestwood, the group of friends. Despite their attempts to move on, found themselves drawn back together by an invisible force. A chilling premonition hung in the air, and an unspoken understanding compelled them to reconvene at the old mansion. The mansion, once the epicenter of their nightmares, stood in ominous silence as they entered the dilapidated structure. A cold gust of wind swept through the corridors, carrying with it an otherworldly whisper that echoed through the halls. It was as if the very walls held the secrets of the curse, waiting to be unraveled, driven by a sense of duty and a desperate need for closure. The group delved deeper into the mansion's mysteries. They discovered hidden passages, cryptic symbols, and clues that hinted at a darker, more ancient power behind the curse. It became apparent that the vengeful spirit they had encountered was but a pawn in a much larger, malevolent game as they unraveled the threads of the curse's origin. The friends learned of a centuries-old pact made by the town's founders with the malevolent entity. Seeking eternal servitude, the cursed artifact a relic imbued with dark magic was the key to the entity's continued existence. The friends realized that breaking the curse required confronting this ancient force, a task fraught with peril. Their journey led them to a hidden chamber beneath the mansion, where another worldly portal pulsated with an ominous energy as they approached. The air thickened with an oppressive force and the ancient entity revealed itself a grotesque, shadowy figure emerged from the depths, its eyes ablaze with malevolence. The entity, angered by the interference of the friends, unleashed a torrent of supernatural forces upon them. The group fought valiantly, their bond and determination the only weapons against the ancient evil in the midst of the chaos. Emily, burdened by guilt and remorse, made a self-sacrificial choice to confront the entity directly, absorbing its dark energy into herself. As Emily bore the weight of the malevolent force, a blinding light enveloped the chamber. The friends, witnessing the sacrifice, felt the oppressive presence dissipate. The ancient entity, weakened and thwarted, recalled into the shadows, vanquished by the selfless act of one. In the aftermath, Crestwood was free from the curse that had plagued it for generations. The friends, forever changed by their ordeal, found solace in the unity forged through adversity. Emily's sacrifice became a beacon of hope, a testament to the strength of friendship in the face of unimaginable darkness. As the town slowly recovered from the supernatural turmoil, the friends, now bound by a shared destiny, vowed to protect Crestwood from any lingering shadows. The once quiet town began to heal, but the memories of the curse lingered as a cautionary tale, a reminder that some secrets are better left undisturbed and that the bonds of friendship could overcome even the most malevolent forces.